Well, today is a day that we're going to take off some of the silage tarp. We're actually going to plant peas. Peas need to be planted for us here in the deep south. So we're going to try to get some pink eye purple hole planted and some Mississippi pink eye planted. Uh, before we do that, though, we're going to try to cut all this, or excuse me, weed eat all this grass around the silage tarp. So that way we're not opening the silage tarp, weed eating, and throwing all that grass seed back in there. So we're going to weed eat all this, and then what we're going to do is we're going to actually flame throw it. Uh, so we get to use our flame throw today, and actually once we move the tarps, then we'll come back through and burn the grass off. So I think that's going to be a better approach for us to keep as many weeds and grass out of the, the fall garden as we can. Uh, it's not a foolproof way, but it might be the way that can make it a little bit better. So join us as we go today. All right, let's get started. You hear my little girl screaming. Um, we're gonna take our silage tarp up and just take up this one square, and this is what's gonna be for winter and also for our peas. We're not gonna take up any extra because we're gonna let it sit and get a, um, you know, just sit and get better. Uh, we're gonna put some um, topsoil on this. We're gonna broad fork it, but I'm gonna show you what the quality is. Look at the difference here, just from silage tarp, and this is what we really do. Kind of, we've gotten to where we really enjoy. It. See the definitive line. I know the sun's shining pretty good, but you see all this. This is just old hay and old grass that, that's been under there and this made just a great little compost. It, surprisingly, it's very moist under here. So, very pleased with that. Um, very, very pleased with that. So we're gonna go ahead and get the, the square of this part off. Um, look at it, we're gonna broad fork it, get it set and get it ready as we try to get some peas in the ground today. Uh, we gotta get the silage tarp off before we actually do the uh, the fire just so it don't burn our, our tarp so let's go ahead and get it off right here we'll move it and then from there we'll go ahead and get the uh the little torch going and, and burn some and have a little fun i am truly blown away at how great the quality of this soil was under the silage tarp i was a little worried to see if it was going to hurt the soil or make it so dry that it would almost become like a brittle ash but look at the quality of this soil look at this the moisture in it just the, the fine richness of it. Wow, it just blows my mind. It's got all the old, just composted leaves and old grass leaves and, you know, I mean, just vegetation that was no good that we covered up. Uh, and you can see the definitive line. I, I just, I've never done silage tarps before this year without it being a longer span. I might do it for a season, but this has been on here for about a month and a half. And look at the definitive line all the way right here and there. So we're going to burn the rest of this on the outside. Uh, and this will be our pea rows. Uh, and may even do one more set of corn to try out for late fall. I don't know. We we're definitely want to get peas, pink up purple hole in here. But very pleased at the quality of this ground. I I'm just, if you're not doing silage tarps, don't be wrong. The first investment of, of silage tarping is, can get expensive. But I tell you what. I'm very pleased with it. By the way, did you see our new hats? They're pretty awesome. If you want one, let us know. No, I'm very pleased with that though. So what we're gonna do, let's get the get the burner going. Let's get the um let's get it weed free on the outside and then we're gonna go ahead and do some some broad forking and we'll be ready to go. I'm just going around the edges and basically burning. Everything closed. That way I won't have weeds around my garden. As you can see, I'm just going around the edge of my garden. It's all part of the prepping. 
make sure there's no grass that's gonna make this way in this beautiful area over here. We got the flamethrower done. You see, we got a definitive line going all the way around the part that we're using. You see that black line going around. So what we'll do now is take silage tarps over the next few weeks and go ahead and apply all on this section where the grass is. That way you have no grass in your um, ground, which again, birds can drop, seeds can fly still from mowing. So you're gonna have a little weeds always, but it does help you not be so inundated with weeds like I was this last year. So from being hard-headed, this is the way I think that we are going forth with it. Very pleased with the, what the silage tarp's done. Now, lastly, we're just gonna broad fork it for the night. I think the the sunset is gonna catch us. Uh, it's getting a little late, so we're probably just gonna have to go in anyway, but only thing left to do this to prep this for peas is we will come back and put um, topsoil on every row. So you're adding more organic matter, and then we'll plant right into that. So. Hope this video helped. I know it's not much. Maybe you'll see finished product on the next video. We're gonna go ahead and start broad forking and we will finish up for the day. Happy homesteading, y'all.